Senate leaders this afternoon would not guarantee the fate of a controversial education bill. News 8's Garrett Berquist lays out how, what we know so far. The short answer is it's anybody's guess what's going to happen to this bill in the Senate. Senate President Pro Tem Roderick Bray spoke to the media at the end of session this afternoon. He asked about the education bill. He said right now the bill's Senate handler is making some substantial changes to it based on input from parents and teachers. He said once those changes are made, Senate leaders will see whether or not there is a path forward. As a reminder, this is the bill that would prohibit educators from teaching certain concepts that often are associated with critical race theory. It also would require teachers to post all instructional materials online and would uh, create parent-teacher material review committees in public school districts. Well, we have a couple of people that have been working really hard um, on what I would say are pre pretty significant amendments. And uh, once we see what those are, they're not ready yet, um, so I can't really speak to them. I can't speak to them. But uh, uh, once we have an opportunity to look at those, we'll analyze it and see if there's a path forward. We're in for, uh, I believe, a very tumultuous second half with 1134 and other bills that are coming over here. Hopefully those bills will get a different look here in the Senate. I think we seem to be a little bit more pragmatic about the things that we discuss here. This week brought the last days for each chamber to pass its own bills. So House bills that have not passed out of the House are now essentially dead. Same with Senate bills that had not yet passed out of the Senate. The education bill is a House bill. It has already passed the House. That happened last week, so it is still alive. It's worth pointing out, though, that the Senate's version of this bill died without ever leaving committee. At the State House, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.